Hi everyone, so I've just come today to share with you um, this big journal, but I'm going to show you that one quickly as well. Um, I've worked on this all day, literally taking me about 10 hours <laughs> to make this. And it's um, a hard cover, which I've made the cover myself. Um, it's fabric covered as well, it has three signatures. Um, it is no theme whatsoever. I'm going to call this random eclectic um all sorts of things have gone on in here um but first of all i am going to do a very quick flip of this um i done a few of these the other day and yesterday i done a let's make and i showed you how to make the the cover so it's a window envelope so obviously i done the cover so um after i had done that video last night i started working on um, making a signature for it so I'm just going to quickly show you that I have used um, butterflies in blue from Artie Mace and this measures eight and a quarter by three and five eighths and there's 56 pages in this one whereas the other ones there was less pages and I've actually put a lot more in these than I did the other ones the other day so like I said butterflies in blue from Artie Mays I've made big just making sure I'm in frame. Big long corner pockets uh, inside there. We've got some tags and I've made them tags using papers from the kit and just chopping them up to make tags. This is a tag from the kit. Um, this is from Artie Mays and it's from one of the Oddman kits. Can't remember. Is it set three? I think it is. <coughs> Excuse me. This is also from Artie Mays. I've done some little clusters here. I've put on some of the... Um, uh, ephemera from the kit on there. I've done some stamping, some stamping there. There's a doily here. Uh, here I've used one of the banners just to make a top tuck and then I made this um, journal card and some more stamping. We've got a pocket here with some crocheted trim. This is from Artie Maze. That's actually from Tsunami Rose. This is from Artie Maze. That will just pops in there. This will be listed in my shop if you're interested. Another long pocket, only this time I've put it on that side of the page. Another long tag. Um, tag from the kit. This is also from Artie Mays, different kit, but um, still from Artie Mays. Uh, one of the stamps from the kit. I just made some extra tags. Got my stamps out. centre of the signature, some stamping, another banner from the kit and another tag. So if you're looking um, to see how i done the cover, that will be on my playlist under, <coughs> excuse me, um, tall skinny window envelope journal cover, <laughs> uh, which was the last one that i done, which was yesterday. Another little cluster there. Another pocket here. Oh, I know there was something else there. This is from Artie Mays from the Oddment, the Oddment kits. I don't know why I struggle to say that. Oddments. Um, that's from Artie Mays as well. So is this. That's, I don't know what kit that's from now. I think it's Nature Walk. Could be. Another tag. With some stamping so this would be great um, just to like pop in your bag um, obviously if your bag's not tiny <laughs> uh, another stamp there another pocket another long tag that I made from one of the pages from the kit another little cluster that's from Tsunami Rose I can't remember where that's from and that is from Artie Mays and that is the back so that is that I enjoyed making them. I'm going to use the bigger envelopes with the windows next to make some. Right, for this big baby. Right. This measures eight and a quarter by five inches with a three inch spine. There is 168 pages front and back, and this will also be listed uh, in my shop. The fabric, I actually got it so beautiful. Um, 
Artie Mays, who is Andrea, actually gifted this to me. Um, so I thought I would use that. And I used um, the same fabric inside to do the, um, in the binding. And it's also got Tyvek in there as well. We've got um, some of this kind of crocheted fabric here. This image is our Pinterest find. And it's got some sewing and some paper there as well. So <clears throat> as you can see, there's a nice big chunky one but there is lots and lots of journaling room it's not overly stuffed with things so these papers here are from Artemis from one of the collage kits hoping that's not too bright okay right if you see me mention the last couple of days that my husband has been playing around doing some digital work for me <clears throat> and he's come up with a few pages now so I've been playing with that and that's one of them there that's also one of them, which I've chopped up to make um, the pocket. Uh, we've got a tag inside there, obviously done some stitching there. Uh, this is just a scrap piece of paper that you can do some writing on. Because I actually didn't want to make this a big fat journal, but it kind of turned into it anyway. I was just going to make it a writing journal. This is some uh, vintage uh, letters I found, I think, via Pinterest. Done some more stamping here. Right, I was inspired to well I was gonna doodle I watched Narissa Bailey um some of her journals that she's done videos on the last couple of days and she'd been doing some doodling that she was inspired by someone else and I thought oh that looks good but I'm crap at doodling so I just got my little stamps out and I done that and I used to use that stamp all the time um in my journals and I haven't used it for a long, long time. So this was actually gifted to me just the other week. Um, this is a, it was a sticker. Well, it is a sticker because it's, it's stuck down on there. That was from um, Michelle Field, who is Country Morning Creations, <clears throat> as was this page. So I've used that as well. This is from the old design shop. I've done some more stamping. Um, here, the, again, this is some digital stuff my husband's been working on. This is um, Artie Maisie's Eco Dyeing. That's a printable. So if you want to go over and check that out, I've made tags from some of the collage papers from Artie Mays as well. Uh, this is from Tsunami Rose. And they've all been backed. There we go. Made this little tag the other day. It's fabric, uh, fabric tab tag. Uh, onto cardstock sewn and then this image here she's been sewn onto fabric as well so I'll pop that in there like I said that's the eco dyeing this is from Tsunami Rose the old design shop this is a fabric tab it was bits of well actually there's still some of that fabric there I've still got more of it but that's what I chopped off um, some more of the stamping made some tags using some of Artie Maisie's, uh, I think it's, is it Vintage Beauties or Victorian Beauties, uh, her digital kit. And then on these backgrounds here, that's the digitals that my husband's been making for me. <clears throat> this is from the old design shop, some Edith Holden. This was inspired again by um, Narissa Bailey and she'd showed it in her journals. But she was inspired by um, Sagita, who is Sagita Coffee Stains. Um, is what coffee stains, coffee dyed, but you know how I mean, Sagita. <laughs> and Sagita was inspired by Tina, who is Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I don't know if Tina was inspired by someone else, so I just thought I would do some. So that was fun, just using up all them scraps to make. And that's actually a tuck, you can actually tuck something. I'm trying to find something now, right? So you could actually tuck something in there. So I've, there's a few of them in the um, book. And like I said, that was fun to do. I didn't didn't do mine the way they done theirs. I done it a little bit differently, as in I didn't use tape to stick it all down to. I used my long pieces of scrapbooking paper. That I don't know why I keep them, but now I do know why I've kept them. To do things like that with. So that's the centre of the signature. Um, <clears throat> so there's always a reason why you keep things. That flips out. Some more stamping. Oops, I just sat, I stood up and sat down on my cushion and it, it was all bumfold up. I hope you know what bumfold means. <laughs> that's some more eco dyeing. Uh, that's some of the digital paper my husband's been doing. So I've made it into a pocket. 
that's again that's some of his digital work the image is a pinterest find i'll have to scoot a little bit quicker now because i'm nearly at 10 minutes that flips i've got a top tuck here i've got a big journaling card this is from artie mays it's her calendar ephemera pack <clears throat> second signature again this is another page my husband's been working on so i used that i've used made that into a flip and here is just it's a whole sheet from one of artemis's collage um kits so i had that around so i put that in there i didn't really print a lot off today i was using what i had because i do when i do print i do print in bulk so that i've got stuff and i'm not waiting for the printer another pocket that's something else my husband designed uh <clears throat> another tag this is the old design shop that's pinterest find tag here from artie maze <clears throat> some more of these love heart stamps some more of artie maze's eco papers edith holden some more stamping another one of those which is a tuck yeah, you could get quite addicted to making them because this they're actually really quick and easy to make. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, this is some original um, ledger paper that Michelle gifted me. So I put one sheet in there. I, I didn't think I'd use it, thought I'd hold it, but no, I've used it. There's no point in holding it, is there? Another big tag that I've made. It's from Artie Mays. That's my husband's digital. Oh, it's mine now <laughs> center of the signature that is some uh, printable ledger some more stamping that's the ledger the original ledger some uh yes yeah, tsunami rose some more stamping edith holden another pocket with another little taggy thing that i made that's on fabric and that's from my porch prints here we have a tag I made from Artemis collage paper. This is Tsunami Rose. And the pocket is from uh, something my husband done. So that flips out. That flips out as well. Another big pocket. That was something else my husband done. That's his digital images Pinterest. Third signature, that's his as well. He done that too. He's getting smart at this. <laughs> um, large tag, that's what he done too. That's all on one page. Once he's done quite a few, I'm gonna put them together and put them in my shop. Um, but they won't, they won't be themed. They'll just be like randoms. So you'll get like maybe four or five pages, but they will be random and there won't be any themes to them. Or just something that you can use throughout making a junk journal. Another sticker there which is a clock this is from Artie Mays uh, Ecodyne Artie Mays postcard there top tuck that's from my husband done that as well just a piece of paper to write on um, another big tag uh, Artie Mays image husband's background and some stamping the old design shop uh, Edith Holden the, oh, I've, I don't know if I've mentioned the lacy trim. <laughs> uh, the fabric tabs, the centre of the signature. That flicks out. Some of that stamping. Tsunami rose. Top tuck. Husband done that as well. Um, large tag that I made. Artie Mays again. That's the calendar collection. Big tag here on a flip. So the potential for writing is this, in this is like amazing because obviously not only just the pages but everything that's added you know you can write on the backs of them and then obviously add all your own things uh, another pocket that again that was made with the digitals my husband done this is Artie Mays uh, Tsunami Rose and then I made this tag I was trying to do a tutorial I've still got everything to do it but I was trying to get it all done within a certain time but of course I didn't I couldn't do it so I need to figure out a better way of doing that so that's got lace and lace trim and fabrics and that's from Artie Mays as well 
so that is the journal so there we have it that big fat journal it's lovely it really is nice so this is for sale that is for sale any questions just ask thanks for watching bye